Yo, what's up? Viers here. The new KR patch has been released. Let's go and review the new patch. Let's go. We have the new unit. Hero Sky has been added along with the Korean voice party effect upon 5 star maximum awakening. 70% normal attack damage. No! No! It's light! No! <laughs> I'm dead. Dude, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. <laughs> anyway, let's read the skill descriptions. It might not be that bad. I'll show you the translations on the screen. Okay, so it's a one-handed sword. Which means it doesn't have any shield. It deals melee damage to enemies with an illusion-like swordsmanship. So the normal attack doesn't do anything. Nice. For the chain skill, it says spreads a holographic field around the target, dealing melee damage equal to 380% of attack power per second. So the chain skill doesn't do anything special as well, which is nice. Special ability. When attacked, increases defense by 30% for 4 seconds. Uh, I don't care about the defense buff because it's a Rosetta unit. Like, it dies if it gets chained, most likely. When just this edge hits, attack increases by 30% for 4 seconds. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> because now, um, on top of the already bullshit 70% normal attack party buff, it also gets an extra 30% attack from this passive. Oh no, I'm in danger, guys. Now for the exclusive weapon, it increases its movement speed by 20%. <laughs> it increases its movement speed. <laughs> By 20% for 3 seconds. Okay, sure. Sure. You can't even run from this unit, dude. When just... <laughs> when just this edge hits, there's a 50% chance to increase attack power by 5% for 6 seconds, of course. So, on top of the 30% attack increase, it also increases it by 5%. A critical strike multiplier, so it's crit damage multiplier by 10%. Also... Man, on top of that, it even increases its crit damage multiplier by 10%. The effect can be used up to 3 times. <laughs> so the 5% attack bonus is actually going to stack to 15%. And the 10% crit damage multiplier is going to stack up to 10, 30%. Which means it actually gets a 45% attack increase on top of a 30% crit damage increase. Oh no. <laughs> This is not good. Yeah, and as a sub option, it also gets a crit chance plus 10%. So its crit is actually very good. On top of the 12% base crit chance from the weapon, it also gets a bonus 10%, which is insane. 22% crit chance from thin air. It's actually insane. Like, almost every attack of this unit is gonna crit as long as you add a crit buffer. Oh no. This is not good. I can't believe they actually did this because like they already saw how how much Rosetta like ruined arena with the normal attack party buff and now like Rosetta Rosetta is so good like the party buff is so good that like the top players are using Rosetta on melee teams with Zohi and Carol now imagine having adding this unit now you don't need to use Rosetta anymore like you don't like you're gonna have three actually good units now you don't even need to uh, like to make do with a garbage unit like Rosetta on the melee team. This is actually insane. Of course, I hate this update. <laughs> I hate this unit. Even if I, um, like, even before seeing the animations, I already hate this unit. Especially now it's a light unit. Of course, I'm biased as a dark player, right? But seeing a light unit um, being this good, like with the movement speed on top of everything, this unit is gonna be so annoying to play against, man. But let's move on to the next parts of the patch. This is the 1000 day anniversary patch, so let's hope um, for something good. Fix an issue where the first, um, I mean, bug improvements. Let's just um, skip those. You English voices for the first core commander. Yeah, sure. Uh, Might find a trio Japanese dub. Nice. Um, Japanese voices also added into the other, um, into some of the floating manga, which is nice. Um, illustration style, yeah, for Might find a trio. Nice. Farm Resident, Mad Panther will be added. I, I guess it's the Mad Panda Trio. In crafting 1000 days anniversary box. Oh uh, yeah, cool. So we get new stuff for the farm. I don't really visit it that often, so... 
yeah, I don't care that much. <laughs> um, Kamazo, new season. So it's gonna be... Mandrake. Oh, it's gonna be the... The plants. <laughs> the new co-op will change. New collection, it's a new weapon. Yeah, sure. Other errors and improvements. Very minor stuff. New products, so... Wow, they... There are no balance changes on this patch. Surprisingly enough. Yeah, new roadmap event. I'm um, sure. New pickup event. Yeah, there are new units as well. Um, uh, so the next boost is gonna be Awakening Dungeon. Now, there's gonna be an attendance reward which includes the Marina's super costume which I'm going to be showing on screen right now. Um, guild excavation and new costumes. Nothing, nothing much here. Just the costume for the new unit, I guess. There's one new weapon costume, and that's it. I think this patch is going to do more bad to the game than good. Like obviously having a unit like this, it's not really good for uh, the already dying arena meta. I'm very disappointed that they actually released this, but you know, there's really nothing I can do. Um, hopefully. Hopefully I don't die. <laughs> Hopefully I'll still be able to use my dark team even if this unit becomes the meta. But yeah, you know me. Um, I've been using troll comps for as long as you, uh, you can remember. Um, I'm probably gonna be trying to make the. I'm probably going. I'm probably gonna try to make the dark team work even after this unit gets released. Who knows? They like the ones that are gonna be using this unit are probably gonna be brain dead anyway. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Um, anyway, that's all for this patch, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, see y'all next time. Bye-bye.